Hi guys, I'm back again today with another reaction video. We are continuing with Anissa. We left off on 76. Uh, and um, I was supposed to upload on every Tuesday, right? But my folder got deleted. I couldn't retrieve the folder. And that is why it took us a while before we we got back to reacting but anyways we're here now so before we do start don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already click that bell button to get notified whenever i do upload a video anyways guys let's check this out and a point for us from yourself a protector and a point for us from yourself a helper <laughs> Those who believe fight in the cause of Allah, and those who disbelieve fight in the cause of Taghut. So fight against the allies of Satan. Indeed, the plot of Satan has ever been weak. <laughs> Have you not seen those who were told, restrain your hands from fighting and establish prayer and give zakah? But then when fighting was ordained for them, at once a party of them feared men as they fear Allah or with even greater fear. They said, our Lord, why have you decreed upon us fighting? If only you had postponed it for us for a short time. Say, the enjoyment of this world is little, and the hereafter is better for he who fears Allah, and injustice will not be done to you, even as much as a thread inside a date seed. Okay. <laughs> construction but if good comes to them they say this is from Allah and if evil befalls them they say this is from you say all things are from Allah so mm -hmm. what is the matter with those people that they can hardly understand any statement oh talking uh before we continue I was watching Ahmed Didat yesterday and he talked about Surah Anisa so I was so excited that two separate reactions come together so i was really excited i was like oh my gosh we reacted to that surah i mean a little bit of that surah <laughs> Shaheed. 
What the comes kingdom? to you of good is from what is the heart. That? What comes to you of evil, O oh man, is from yourself. Mm -hmm. And we have sent you, O oh Muhammad, to the people as a messenger. And sufficient is Allah as witness. <laughs> has obeyed Allah but those who turn away we have not sent you over them as a guardian spend the night determining to do other than what you say but Allah records what they plan by night so leave them alone and rely upon Allah and sufficient is Allah as disposer of affairs <laughs> If it had been from any other than Allah, they would have found within it much contradiction. security or fear they spread it around but if they had referred it back to the messenger or to those of authority among them then the ones who can draw correct conclusions from it would have known about it and if not for the favor of Allah upon you and his mercy you would have followed Satan except for a few <laughs> So fight, O Muhammad, in the cause of Allah. You are not held responsible except for yourself. Mm. And encourage the believers to join you that perhaps Allah will restrain the military might of those who disbelieve. And Allah is greater in might and stronger in exemplary punishment. <laughs> Whoever intercedes for a good cause will have a reward therefrom, and whoever intercedes for an evil cause will have a burden therefrom, and ever is Allah over all things a keeper. وَإِذَا حُيِّيتُمْ بِتَحِيَّةٍ فَحَيُّوا بِأَحْسَنَ مِنْهَا أَوْ رُدُّوهَا إِنَّ اللَّهَ كَانَ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ حَسِيبًا حَسِيبًا when you are greeted with the greeting, in return with one better than it, or at least return it in a like manner. Indeed, Allah is ever, over all things, an accountant. Accountant, sorry. Allahu 
I know what hadith is. So haditha might be the statement. The yeah, statement. And Kiyama is resurrection. So we're still learning, we still remember some of the words. Allah, there is no deity except him. He will surely assemble you for account on the day of resurrection, about which there is no doubt. And who is more truthful than Allah in statement? <laughs> What is the matter with you that you are two groups concerning the hypocrites while Allah has made them fall back into error and disbelief for what they earned? Do you wish to guide those whom Allah has sent astray? And he whom Allah sends astray, never will you find for him a way of guidance. I don't really understand entirely, entirely the kill them part. So you have to explain, guys, in the comments. <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, 
I was going to say, I asked a question and then the next uh, verse is answering my question. <laughs> is it for a believer to kill a believer except by mistake? And whoever kills a believer by mistake, then the freeing of a believing slave and a compensation payment presented to the deceased's family is required, unless they give up their right as charity. But if the deceased was from a people at war with you and he was a believer, and only the freeing of a believing slave. And if he was from a people with whom you have a treaty and a compensation payment presented to his family and the freeing of a believing slave. And whoever does not find one or cannot afford to buy one, then instead a fast for two months consecutively, seeking acceptance of repentance from Allah. And Allah is ever knowing and wise. Oh. So if you kill someone by mistake, then that's the way to get repentance. But I'm still, so I'm guessing the people that you can kill, I don't know if I can say this on YouTube, that's why, uh, is the non-believers, question mark. Let me know in the comments still, okay? I thought they will answer the question, but we haven't gotten it yet. intentionally his recompense is hell oh, oh. wherein he will abide eternally and Allah has become angry with him and has cursed him and has prepared for him a great punishment okay yeah. Investigate, and do not say to one who gives you a greeting of peace, you are not a believer, aspiring for the goods of worldly life. For with Allah are many acquisitions. You yourselves were like that before. Then Allah conferred his favor upon you, so investigate. Indeed, Allah is ever, with what you do, acquainted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not 
equal are those believers remaining at home other than the disabled and the mujahideen who strive and fight in the cause of Allah with their wealth and their lives. Allah has preferred the mujahideen through their wealth and their lives over those who remain behind by degrees. Oh. And to both, Allah has promised the best reward. But Allah has preferred the mujahideen over those who remain behind with a great reward. <laughs> Degrees of high position from him and forgiveness and mercy. And Allah is ever forgiving and merciful. Indeed, those whom the angels take in death while wronging themselves, the angels will say, in what condition were you? Oh. They will say, we were oppressed in the land. The angels will say, was not the earth of Allah spacious enough? Oh, so now this verse is about the people who, I think, take their own lives, right? Is uh, what this surah is talking about. I mean, this verse is talking about. Uh huh. Okay, interesting. For you to emigrate therein, for those their refuge is hell, and evil it is as a destination. I see. <laughs> Except for the oppressed among men, women, and children who cannot devise a plan, nor are they directed to a will. Oh, okay. For those it is expected that Allah will pardon them, and Allah is ever pardoning and forgiving. So if you take your life of course the punishment is hell except men and women who cannot get out of of something like if they're going if they if they've been treated like badly i i am assuming in the world right if they're going through like people are treating them badly then i guess they are forgiven And whoever emigrates for the cause of Allah will find on the earth many alternative locations and abundance. And whoever leaves his home as an emigrant to Allah and his messenger, and then death overtakes him, his reward has already become incumbent upon Allah. And Allah is ever forgiving and merciful. وَإِذَا ضَرَبَتُمْ فِي الْأَرْضِ فَلَيْسَ عَلَيْكُمْ جُنَاحٌ أَن تَقْصُرُوا مِنَ الصَّلَاةِ إِنْ خِفْتُمْ إِنْ خِفْتُمْ أَنْ يَفْتِنَكُمُ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا إِنَّ الْكَافِرِينَ كَانُوا لَكُمْ عَدُوًا مُبِينًا And when you travel throughout the land, there is no blame upon you for shortening the prayer. Especially if you fear that those who disbelieve may disrupt okay. or attack you. Indeed, the disbelievers are ever to you a clear enemy. 
a while ago the word I, I recognize was salat and that is prayer but I didn't know that the verse was gonna be longer so I was gonna speak but it's good I stopped lead them in prayer let a group of them stand in prayer with you and let them carry their arms and when they have prostrated let them be in position behind you and have the other group come forward which has not yet prayed and let oh. them pray with you taking precaution and carrying their arms. Those who disbelieve wish that you would neglect your weapons and your baggage so they could come down upon you in one single attack. Uh -huh. But there is no blame upon you if you are troubled by rain or are ill for putting down your arms, but take precaution. Indeed, Allah has prepared for the disbelievers so arm is like that or punishment. this question also back then like if you're sick how do you pray and uh, like for example if you're disabled or if you are bedridden how would you pray and of uh, you guys helped me in the comments and also now this uh, verse is telling us that you can lie down you can sit down or you can be on your side you don't have to stand okay indeed prayer has been decreed upon the believers a decree of specified times وَلَا تَهِنُوا فِي ابْتِغَاءِ الْقَوْمِ إِن تَكُونُوا تَأْلَمُونَ فَإِنَّهُمْ يَأْلَمُونَ إِن تَكُونُوا تَأْلَمُونَ فَإِنَّهُمْ يَأْلَمُونَ كَمَا تَأْلَمُونَ وَتَرْجُونَ مِنَ اللَّهِ مَا لَا يَرْجُونَ وَكَانَ اللَّهُ And do not weaken in pursuit of the enemy. If you should be suffering, so they are suffering as you are suffering. But you expect from Allah that which they expect not. And Allah is ever knowing and wise. <laughs> Indeed, 
indeed, we have revealed to you, O Muhammad, the book in truth, so you may judge between the people by that which Allah has shown you. And do not be for the deceitful an advocate. Okay, so we're going to end it in 105. We're going to continue on Tuesday again, um, 106 onwards. So this was a very interesting uh, verse that we tackled today. Um, I really like the insight about, excuse me, about the praying when you're sick and also when enemies are around you and also about people who take their life so those are the things that uh, really stand out to me or stood out to me that is something that i understand now but anyways guys let me know what you think if you like this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't turned i'll see you in the next video um all the links to this uh the original link to this video will be in the description box down below as well as my social media links so guys i'll see you in the next video bye